Hi, I'm Jerry Day. There seems to be a big reality gap in the presidential race, like an elephant in the kitchen and no one wants to say anything. I was looking around YouTube and I noticed something remarkable. I'm going to show you some web data and I think when I'm done you'll agree that there is something dreadfully wrong with what the broadcast media has told us about the presidential race. Let's look at all the major presidential candidates and see how many YouTube videos each of them has as of mid-April 2008. John McCain has over 19,000 videos. Way to go, John. Oops, Hillary Clinton has over 72,000. Sorry, John. Oh my gosh, Barack Obama has almost 85,000 videos on YouTube. More than McCain or Hillary, Obama is the man. Wait a minute. Just for fun, let's look at Ron Paul. What? 117,000 videos? Ron Paul is by far the leading presidential candidate in YouTube videos with a margin of 37% over the next leading candidate? This seems absolutely crazy. If that was true, it would mean the mainstream media is not only ignorant of relative candidate popularity, they'd be deliberately suppressing Ron Paul against the other candidates in terms of their coverage. We need to go somewhere where there's better data. Ah, Google Trends, the lesser known web search reporting site that Google doesn't publicize too much. But this baby is powerful. Just so you know how this works. Put in any two search terms and you will instantly see a chart showing the relative web traffic comparing the two search terms all the way back to January 2004. Google Trends puts football in blue and basketball in red. This chart shows that football gets two to four times the web search volume that basketball does. And you can see the web searches surge every year in the logical seasonal patterns for both sports. Down here it shows us the comparative tracking of news media hits on the two topics. You see similar seasonal patterns, but the media coverage rises more steadily towards the final playoffs, while the fan interest reacts more sharply around the times of the key games. So we'll get to the bottom of this Ron Paul thing right now. YouTube said that Ron Paul and Barack Obama were the two frontrunners, so let's see the chart on Google searches for those two. Ron Paul was twice as popular as Barack Obama from April through November of 2007. So YouTube was right on. It's not crazy. So how did Obama get this huge spike in December against Ron Paul? The chart below says that the mainstream news media gave Obama eight or ten times as much news coverage as they gave Ron Paul. When the media started their Obama love fest, Ron Paul was three times as popular as Obama. Relentless and lopsided media hammering for a few months manages to flip that. Notice that the media chart is squashed vertically. Obama's popularity went up about the same percent as his media coverage. But Ron Paul's internet popularity has consistently been three to five times greater than the amount of his news media coverage. We like him whether the media does or not, and that's not true of any of the other candidates. They are toast without their media coverage. Ron Paul's self-generated popularity is astronomically higher than Obama's. So here's what gives me the willies. When the mainstream print and broadcast media isn't telling us who to vote for and we're allowed to talk among ourselves, we make very different choices than what the media tells us to make. This chart clearly shows that the media has consistently underreported Ron Paul, but he remains massively popular on the internet anyway. So YouTube and Google, which operate independently, come up with the same answer. Ron Paul has achieved spectacular superior popularity on the internet in spite of massive and inexplicable media suppression. Imagine what Ron Paul's popularity would be if the mainstream media treated him equally. Just for a last quick reality check, let's look at Ron Paul against the other candidates on Google searches. Here's Hillary Clinton in blue. Just like Obama, she trailed badly against Ron Paul through most of 2007 until the broadcast media put huge preferential push behind Clinton in December of that year as the media all but abandoned Ron Paul. Hillary Clinton's media coverage has been a little less than Obama's and her popularity slipped below Obama in perfect synchronization with that difference in broadcast coverage. 
These charts are very accurate in tracking general popularity relative to media coverage. As you see exactly where Obama's blue line climbed past Hillary at the same general time here as he pulled ahead in the primaries. Most political polls, like Harris or Gallup, have a sample size of two or three thousand a few times a year. Google searches are in the millions every day. Media polls can't touch this for accuracy. And obviously, looking at Ron Paul's actual popularity, bias plays a very large part in media polling. Media polls reported him in single digits while he skyrocketed in popularity all over the web above all other candidates. So here's the real news that we've seen throughout this campaign. At the times when Ron Paul is vastly more popular than all other candidates, the major media does everything possible to bury him. The question is not whether, but who is controlling media content and why. Here's Ron Paul against John McCain. In the last two-thirds of 2007, Ron Paul slaughters McCain, even when McCain is supposedly making his comeback. McCain has barely managed by April of 2008 to edge out Ron Paul after having enjoyed many times the media coverage of Ron Paul for months on end. Throughout this presidential campaign, Ron Paul's internet popularity has been by far the highest relative to his media coverage compared to any other candidate. No one remotely approaches his self-generated popularity. What would explain Ron Paul's astounding success on the Internet? Far more sensational yet when you correct for the broadcast media imbalance. It's what Ron Paul says. He's the only candidate who understands economics, who understands the war in Iraq, who understands the views and concerns of most Americans and is able to express the realities that so badly need expressing while all the other candidates take meaningless rhetorical positions or no positions at all on the things that matter most. Go to YouTube, search for Ron Paul, click on a few videos, and you'll see why the corporate media is afraid of him. You'll see why the American public, at least the majority of the few hundred million on the Internet, say that Ron Paul is the only decent choice we'll have in 2008. I'm Jerry Day television producer in Burbank, California.